Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. Today, I'm going to be doing uh, a video for a pen friend, Chris, um, about my financials. Now, this is my take-home amounts. I get $796 from my main job, and then I get $155 and some cents from another job. And then the total comes out to $951.72 take home. That's after my school. That's after everything. Because I have a financial advisor who does that for me. So I don't have to worry about the crazy amount of things that insurance, um, things like that. So school insurance, my accountant takes care of those. So I use this to calculate how much is going in and going out. Well, let's look at October's. Now I put two columns. I put one with the amount and one with, I, I usually do double the amount. So that way, if I accidentally delete it, then I can go back and, you know, add it in again. So, the way that this works is I have it set up so that um, I put how much I have in the bank. So, we'll say that at the beginning of this month I had, I had, um, 951.72. And I always keep this here just for reference. So that way I can be like, okay, that's how much I have in the bank right now. 9.52. And then I go, uh, I, I, I tell, that's how much I have in the bank. This is the sum of B1 all the way through B200 or whatever your lowest one is. And so it takes and adds up all of these numbers and puts it in this column here. And then you can, this square equals D minus D1 minus D2. So this number minus this number equals this number. That makes sense. And then down here, I have this number equals this number. And then this is how many days are left in the month. So we'll say 30 days. And then this is equals the sum of D12 divided by D13. This divided by this many days equals this amount of money. So I get about $7.31 a day that I can play with. So that's pretty good. And then over here, we have EBT. That's my husband's EBT and his rent. And so that helps out. Um, we go so we go this one minus this one, this one. He gets this amount divided by this many days. And then I always put how much I have in the credit card. This is not current. This, this whole thing is not current, just so you know. And then as the days go on, you know, you just remove the whatever. And then you put however much is in the bank. We'll say, let's see, 951. 951, 72 minus 133, 90 is 870. So you would put 817, 82. We'll say, we'll say 880. And then this is, and then you, you'll notice that everything around changes. 
But there is a far better um, a description of how this works on YouTube. You can search on YouTube for how to use Excel and they will help you. And if you have any questions, um, I'm on Duo. If anybody has Duo, you guys can um, call me or use Facebook, or you can write me a message through um, one of the social medias. Um, I don't know if this helped any, so that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.